Good evening, everyone. This is uh, John Moody of uh, Moody Mystery. Um, I'm going to briefly summarize where we left off on the last episode. Um, last episode, we were sent on a mission to scout the Tremontane Forest. I think that's how you say it. And they say, hey, if you find any T-Rang, destroy them. And we actually did run into T some T Rang. They were like wanting. They were like, "Hey, hey let's let's talk it over." And I'm like, "Uh, -uh. we're um, we're 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 fulfilling our mission." Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna report back to the sergeant and tell him what we found. Okay, so. And we've actually been here before, so let's, if we're going to look at our map. As you can see, we've been, we've been here before when we did the Five Flower Quest. At that point, we did not see the T-Rang because apparently, um, there, that's, it, when you, when you uh, get the, the mission, it probably set some type of flag or something to make the T-Rang appear. But we're now going to go back to our Ookpur and we're going to... Oh, God. Why can't I just go back to Ookpur in peace, okay? Why do I have to fight the... Ugh. Weevils. Okay, we were hiding, so... Uh, well, I'm not too worried. We got we've got the cane of corpus, which is basically 80 frickin' damage, 66 damage, 78 damage. Whoa! some more weevil butt here. Of course, if there's more than one, you would call them weevils. Now, what if there were only one? Would you call it an Ivil? Get it? Ivil? Okay, we lost a viewer. That joke was probably too much. But sorry, I like humor, so sorry, not sorry. But that's all right, you know. If you're what, if you're curious, you come in to watch, and you're like, nah, 
not for me, I, I don't mind. Okay, so let's go back to the sergeant, tell him... Okay. Okay, um, there's an exclamation point in front of the Ratkins. That means at least one of them is hidden. Uh, a um, lot of the Ratkins kind of like have, have the right idea. They're like trying to run, which I don't blame them. I mean, if you've got some level 70 something ninja with a cane of corpus you'd really you'd really want to you'd really want to run too now we're not going to hide here again because if there's one that's hidden and I'm hidden that that does create a bit of a stalemate how how, how I'd have to break it is I would have to um, I'd have to I'd have to cast spells and maybe one of the spells would get through. Okay. These were fairly easy monsters. Yeah, about 6,000 XP. Nothing to write home about. And again, daggers, yippee ti yay yay. Okay. And how how we know how we know where the sergeant is? Um, we're looking for double doors like these. Yep. Okay, what I'm going to do is I am going to drop most of my, most of my stuff, most of my um, Umpani related stuff here. We can't wear the flak vest, we can't arm the muskets. Now D Forte said there was maybe a bug. You're like, you, you know, why why we didn't, you know, if you look under personal, we didn't get the um, fire um, firearms. Apparently, the first time we've got, we got bullseye, bullseye, bullseye. Okay, so. I was beginning to worry about you new recruits. Give me a briefing of your mission. Did you find any t ring hiding out in the forest? Yes, yes, Sergeant. Did you destroy them? Yes. Good job. I'll report this to General Yamo immediately. A successful scouting mission pays 500 gold pieces. But destroying a T-Rang spy per party earns you a 5,000 gold bonus. Here are your new orders. For your next assignment, I'm sending you to New City. You may take the Humpa Walmer directly, directly to our Detache there. This pass will allow you entry to the Humpa Walmer station. You are to meet with the Master Tracker, Rod and Luark. Give him this document. It's a message from General Yamo himself. Report back to me when you've completed your assignment. There is a reason I'm sending you on this important mission. Use extreme caution and don't hang around too long. And whatever you do, don't mention the T-Rang around Rodden. It gets him upset and he's going to be upset enough hey, as it is. Oh, cute.
Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna store I'm gonna grab as much of my stuff as I can. Um, because some of the some of it I may let lie in New City. Some of it because some of it is designed for New City. Okay, let's see. That's actually not bad. I thought we'd have more. Let's see what these are. I don't know if they're important, but let's see. Okay. They're number two and number one. Uh, number three, we don't have any more. Okay. Okay, so let, wait. Okay, hump a card, yep. Okay, yep, this is probably the general's area, so we're not going to go in there. Nope, that's the spaceport, we're not going to go in there. Supply Depot. Oh, great. We've got some ghosts hanging outside the Supply Depot. That really does make a lot of sense. Oh, yeah. Somehow I got turned around. Okay, here we go. He's going to say, show me your orders. And he say, these orders do not authorize you to be here. So, you know, get out. Okay, so let's try to see where the hump -a wammer is. If I remember, I thought it was further south. It was like south. Yeah, okay. A row of lights on the box blink rhythmically without pattern. Underneath the ring winking lights, a thin slit serves as an inlet. Ah, that's probably where we put the card. Inserting the card into the gray box, the lights blink twice and then remain on. Oh, great. I, now I'd like to know something. The, I, I, can, I know these eerie moths did not have a hump of card. How the heck did they get in here, okay? That's what I want to know. I mean, I'm. There are more holes in this game than a than a than Swiss cheese. Sheesh. <laughs> Don't mind. It's it's a good game. It's just these weird things that you know. So let's go after some moths. I don't know what type. They could be Luna Mothras, which are more difficult. Okay, there's an ad break coming up, so um, that's that's a chance if you need like to, you know, get some uh, something to drink, etc. I, th I, th I think these are just the standard 
I think Glomoths are their actual names, so... Okay, so let's bash with Arcane of Corpus. That's how, that's how we get bonus damage. It must have been just glow mothras, cause... Okay, so let's pull the lever. Pulling the lever, a low-pitched hum fills your ears, and a faint orange glow bathes the room. And then the tangerine light disappears. Okay, so the light went from uh, glow went from orange to tangerine. Now, they may be close to the same color, but they're probably not exactly the same color. It's like it's like when you're selecting a color and they give you this color palette and there's like light orange, then there's like orange um, orange, orange, yellow, then there's orange, yellow, yellow. <sighs> okay. Okay, we're back everyone. Ad break is over, so welcome back on Tuesday. And this may be an every Tuesday thing. I've I've actually been getting back into working out and I'm just gonna summarize the first week. 
um, give you an update on my uh, weight and also a few eating and workout tips. So um, we're now in the we now pulled the lever in the hump warmer so let's see where we are. Okay. Emerging from the tingling hump of water, you discover that you are no longer in the city of the Umpani encampment, although building is quite similar to other structures erected by them. Bold, spacious, clean. Then in the next heartbeat, a blazing Umpani titan burst into the room with muskets drawn and eyes of fire. The massive figure stands before all nostrils flared, probing each of you with a heated gaze that seems to make your skin sizzle. Like children standing before some angel of the gods, your souls feel held within the grasp of his pupils, your fate hanging in the balance. You notice that your eyes have become transfixed upon a shimmering gold medallion Ooh, shiny, which lies draped across his chest, suspended there by a thick chain. Finally, prying your eyes from the gl glittering emblem, you start to speak when suddenly his deep, booming voice tramples your own. Earth to your snaps by looking at you. Well... Don't just stand there. Let me see your orders. Do you hand Rodon Luark your orders from Sergeant Balbrack? I would say yes, because probably a no means uh, he's gonna he's gonna um, try try to clean my clock. I don't think he'll succeed, but still, this guy's probably pretty tough. It says here that you are to deliver a message from General Yamo to me. Let's have it, pups. Do you give Rodon the document from General Yamo? Yes. Handing the document to Rodon, he tears it open and hastily scans it. Oh, oh sweet justice! Sure it is T-Rang, here on this puny little speck of a planet. The great god Arena smiles on Rodan this day. Father, I shall avenge your death. Hello, I am Rodon Luark. You killed my father. Prepare to die. I'm sure you know what movie that came from. Then suddenly turning to you, he snaps. Tell Yomo that Rodon shall have his revenge. And with that, he is grown. He is gone, dropping the document at your feet, calling for his lieutenants and captains, storming out the door. Kind of feeling a bit shiftless standing there in the empty room, you pick up the fallen document, which had ordered Rodan to stay put finally, <sighs> and wonder why it is that everything's to be arranged so that no one ever does what they're supposed to do, and why it is that everything seems to end up in such a mess. Surely not by grand design. Couldn't be. Basically what it's saying is like, why don't people do what they're told? Even though it says we picked it up, we did not get it back. And I'll show you my character. It's like, pretty awesome character. About like level 77, negative 18 armor class. I think no one's watching because I have two... Pa 
A thick red panel had been bolted to the door, upon which are several rows of flicker, flickering lights. Underneath the lights on the panel is a small 3 by C square of nine buttons, each with a number impressed upon it. Uh, I don't know. Okay, I guess that wasn't it. That would have been a one in a million shot, you know. Okay. So now what we're going to do is now we're going to go out. I think this door leads to... Yep. So then, remember we could not get in here. Now we can. See, now we can. So th this actually gives us a shortcut between New City and Ukpur. But right now what we're going to do is we are going to take stock of our inventory uh, because we're going to... Uh, we're we're going we're gonna to go... We're going to go back to... Um, um, the Umpani one more time to report to um, uh, report, but what we're also going to do is we are going to uh, we're also going to get ready to um, as I said last time our goal was to get to the um, let's see what what is this. Okay, so that's the key of crypts. see what all of these things are. Okay, a whole bunch of keys than that. Let's see. So, okay, we can, we have a key of gars. So we can combine those. I'm going to actually drop those. I'm going to drop the key of crypts. I'm going to drop the key of tomb. But see, what I'm going to do... Okay, let's see what else we can drop. Oh, we still have Yamo's Dispatch. Well, we'll keep it until... Okay. Majestic's Wand. Okay, we're going to drop that. We're going to drop the Elysiad of Divinity. Now we're going to drop the moonstone, but we're going to actually drop it one. We're going to drop it over over here. This this is going to be a place for thing where things we don't need anymore. So this is, you know, so this is let's see what we've got here. keys. Okay, so we've got more keys. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back over here and we're going to grab these keys. Okay, and let's see, we can merge some of them. So we've got a key of tombs. We've got another key of tombs, and we've got another key of gores. Okay, and so what? We, why don't we? Why don't we put all the keys over here? Okay. Okay, so we're going to drop that. We're still going to keep the Sphinx map. Okay, so now what we're going to do, now we're going to go back. Now we're going to, okay, so we're going to save it. 
Uh, let's let's say let's advance. Let's save it as 33 dBs. Um, let's also so we we've got a couple of the things that we need for the gars. I think that I think we still need Jonga powder, and I'm not sure where I left that. So I probably need to either get some, I mean either buy some or find where I put it. Uh, night rooks are just more of a nuisance than anything. Okay, so we're just gonna bash. Maybe it's under here. One thing you have to keep in mind about inventory management is if you drop something, you kind of need to know where you dropped it so that you don't, you know, you know, just, you know, you don't forget about it. I think, if I remember, I think that was in the eastern part. I think that the, yeah, I think. Or was it the western? Let's see. What is it, west or the east? Okay, yeah, it was the east. We just need to go around this building. just going to hit a bunch of fours. Okay, we're going back in the humpy water, Wommer. We're going to go back and we're going to, we're going to talk to, um, uh, we're going to talk to, um, the sergeant again. Okay, so let's see where the double doors are. And uh, welcome on in, everyone. Hope everyone's having a great day. Um, the weekend is here, so happy weekend. Okay. Nope, nothing. So we're going to... Okay. It's about time where you recruits got back. I'm going to give him. You delivered the message to Rod and Lurk? Well, kind of, but I'm going to say yes. Rod and must take the news well if you're still one pace to report back to me about it. No one around here was willing to volunteer for the mission, so you got the job. Congratulations. You've, you've been... Voluntold. There, there's a term for that. It's called voluntold. It's like, well, we, we don't have any volunteers, so you're going to do it. Fortunately for you, however, a few were willing to pay handsomely to escape the assignment. Oh, uh, you're saying I have to go? Really? Like heck. Hey, here's 5,000 gold pieces to 
for for you not to send me. <laughs> Good old bribery works every time. Let's see with the three four fifty courier fee and the seventy eight twenty gold pieces contributed by the anxious staff corps. Your total pay comes to eight eighty one seventy gold pieces. Just as long as Rodden obeys orders and stays put. Uh, wait, about that second part, Sergeant. I don't, I, you know, there's something I kind of need to tell you. Which brings me to your next objective. General Yama wants a full report from you about Rodon. Oh, great. Here's your orders. Present them to the guards at command headquarters and they'll escort you. If Jeff you know, right, Ramo Yamo doesn't have new orders from you, you from from you you can report back to me here. Good luck. The general's waiting. Let's see. Is the general gonna give me a good deal on car insurance? That's what I wanna know. Okay, so so this is where I've been dropping my um, orders. So I don't need four, I don't need five, I don't need the Yamos dispatch, I do need six. Okay, now there is there is one there is one issue I do need I do need to clear up. And that is the um, the deal with um, the bony combs and brushes. I have a feeling I think I know where I left the um, left the Jonga powder. I'm, I'm so I may try to get get back there. Um, I think I may have left it in the Dane Tower. If not, I'll just go on over to the Dane Tower and buy buy more. Okay, so we're gonna. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna go. We're not gonna go back to New City through the Humpawammer. We're going to go back. We're gonna go back through the the town. We're gonna go back through the road. If I remember correctly, this road eventually does lead to uh, lead to the exit to um, what you call it. Let's see, are we there yet? Because I remember we've been here before. Nope, not yet. Okay, are we here? Not yet. Let's see. Nope, not yet. I tell you, what, this is this is a really crazy, twisted road. Watch it be. Watch it be something that does not. Okay, at least at least there was a while before. Oh, in the blink of an eye, the master of five flowers is standing before you. Greetings, young masters. How may I help you this day? Okay, this is Zeng Zhen. Now, one thing we want to do is we want to see if he has any maps. Okay, so we're going to see if he has any maps. Okay. Or parchments. No, he does not. He's got he's got some impressive weapons, but ooh, he's got some impressive weapons. But I bet you wait. And see the thing. The nice thing is it tells you which things are unusable. So 
So if we wanted to, we could use a Bushido blade. But why get a Bushido blade? Uh, why get a Bushido blade when you've got a cane? You've got a cane of corpus that's, you know, that's essentially uh, dest destroying everything. Oh yeah, I forgot this act. I think yeah. Oh yeah, this goes to the monk city. This goes to Monk Harama. And so what we need to do is we need to now go to the other side of Monk Harama uh, to get to um, uh, to get to you know what. Uh, to get out of the city and then about y'all, but I think someone really needs to um, fix their doors. Oh crap, Moody, you're... Okay, so eventually we should get to... Wait, let's, let's save it. You want to save somewhat often because, yes, the game can crash. Um, my, 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 you know what's getting a little bit low here, so I probably should, I probably should rest. Okay, it's not bad. I assume, yep, that's the cable trolley. Okay, eventually we should reach a fork in the road. And by the way, where I live, that's actually the name that's actually the name of our like local restaurant competition. They call it a f fork in the road. Uh, and I and I all what I also do is I also um hmm. okay another restaurant just popped into my head so. So I'll have to, you know, feature that. It's yeah, it's a local restaurant I've been to a couple times. <sighs> Hope everyone's doing well um, tonight. It's Friday, and so that that's good. That's good. That's good news for a lot of people. Getting close to Halloween. This year, Halloween falls on a Tuesday. So, so what that means is I've marked my calendar for Wednesday and Thursday, the two days after. So, um, just in case, um, just in case I um, um, j just just in case I you know. Just, to, just in case they, the the stores haven't sold all their candy, I can pick up like these big things of candy for like 75, 85 percent off. Would be nice. You know, 
seems like I remember like day a couple days after Christmas. Like they had a they have everything they were trying to get rid of everything. I got like so many things for like seventy five percent off. Okay, looks like we still need to go further. Cause there's there what what happened? See I was here before and so there's gonna be you're gonna see some uh and and the, the thing about the map is anywhere you've walked, you know, it it it, sh it shows it. It shows that you've been there, so yeah. See so like here I haven't I haven't stepped on this, but over here you can see I have. So, I think we go up if I remember. I remember the first time trying to find this, it was like a, it was a, it was a bear to find it, it was tough. Okay, Gorn Spearman, puny, but nice. Okay, let me turn this so you can't hear every breath. Okay, and by the way, Gorn Spearmen are probably the lowest level Gorn. I'd probably put Gorn Lancers and Gorn Rangers in about the same tier. Um, Gorn Lancers can do a little more damage, but Gorn Rangers can cast spells. Uh, then there's... I'd say probably Gorn Shamans. They don't have a lot of hit points, but they can cast Priest spells. And then Gorn Ashigoru, which are Samurai. And then I'd probably say Gorn, Gorn Leaders. There may be another one in there if I can remember. Okay, wait a minute. How, how, did, we, how did we find a dead end? Oh, cute Moody, cute. Oh yeah, I forgot this sum right here. Okay, Lancers, Spearmen, and Rangers. That's I like a challenge. Don't you like a challenge? Yes. I like a challenge. Let's go after the Rangers. Uh, now, next week, I'm going to be streaming four days. Uh, I'm, I'm going to be streaming... Uh, Monday is going to be Wizardry 7. So is Friday. Tuesday is going to be my health stream. But Wednesday, Ultima 7 is back. I finally... Fix the corrupt files, and I test. I tested it a little bit. I need to test it a little bit more, but that's what I'm hoping to do. Hoping to stream Ultima Seven. Okay, let's go after the Rangers again. Uh, remember, Rangers can cast spells, especially things like blind. And see, the thing is, if I'm blinded, see, I have negative 18, what we call dodge armor class. If I'm blinded, I lose that, and my armor class becomes whatever my, my penetration armor class, which is plus 3 in the head, but plus 10 everywhere else. And of course, it makes sense, you know, if you're... 
like let's say paralyzed or blinded you can't really see you know you can't really dodge because you really can't see what's going on Um, XP, uh, I haven't leveled up here yet because we've been going, we've been battling a lot of like, like fairly low level monsters. That being said though, over time they do add up. Okay, now if I'm, if I can remember... Let's see, I don't think it was this way. No. It was the other way. Darn, I forgot the way to get there. Oh yeah, I think I have to go a little bit further. I have to go I have to I have to go a little bit further in this direction because uh, I I looked up where 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 I thought it was. I looked up where I thought it was and you know, and I, I think I found it. I think I found where I dropped it, which was pretty close to where I looked the last time. But apparently I'm, I either didn't get enough, and it was like underneath a bunch of stuff, or... But I hope I can get it. If not, unfortunately... I, um, I would have, I'd probably have a game, I, I probably could win the game, but, um, there's, there's actually a term that they use that's called, I think, soft lock, soft lock, where you essentially, you essentially have, You es you essentially have what's what's um, an unwinnable game. You know you can't. Ah, this is the way. Yes, we found it. It wasn't where I thought it was, but close enough. So we've got the bone combs and brushes. Okay. Um, there is an ad break here, so I'm going to be right back. Use the time to go to the bathroom, take, do whatever you need to do. I'm I'm going to I'm going to I'm going to hydrate myself so
like that. Just giving y'all an update because um, we just we just found where our bone combs and brushes are so um, so we so that that's something we're gonna need for the um, uh, for for the, the final dungeon. Yes, I'm doing the final dungeon early, mainly because mainly because what I'm wanting to do. Hey, D Forte. Good. Well, hey, lurkers are welcome, Un unless they are a hostile lurker from Ultima Underworld. Then, though, though those lurkers are not welcome. Um. Just, just, just retrieved my um, probably if I I'm probably several streams ago I mentioned that I needed to find the uh, bone the bone combs and brushes. Um, and I actually looked in about the right area. Um, I don't know if you're familiar. There is a good southern expression. And, and I, of course, I lived I lived in the deep south for eleven years, and in uh, North Georgia for five. Um, the the saying is, if it would have been a snake, it would have bit me. Basically, that's saying that you um. Uh, some. <sighs> Seriously. De Forte, look, you come on in, and now all of a sudden your char your character fizzles. That's all. That's all right. I still I have I have a little bit of tolerance because it's they've been doing well. So. Oh, your char your um, character named after you's been doing quite well, so um okay now um so so our ultimate goal is to get to the gores. We don't we don't have enough to go you know, further because there's still a there's still we still there's a there's a parchment that we need that we do not have. You know, we need to get that before before we can really delve into the final dungeon. And so that may mean that may mean I ha I may have to pay the T rang a visit. Me may I may have to pay, as I said, the T rang a visit. Oh, go straight here because you don't want to. Um, you know what? And I had D four I don't know if you're still around. I hope you're. I hope you're doing well. I'll be honest with you. You you you're worried that your um, streams are a bit short, but hey, that's that's fine. You know, uh, I'm I, as I said, I'm seven out of ten. I'm doing I'm doing quite well. I did uh, my fan my financial plans did get a little bit of a setback, but that being said, I kind of expected that anyway. 
you know, I kind of expected my, uh, after one of the people said, well, there's a problem here, so, you know, tr try, trying to get a little extra, trying to get a little extra money so I at least can survive a little bit. Um... Okay. Okay, so now we're going to go into the Curio Museum. Okay, let's pick this thing up. Okay. Let, let's check the configuration. That that's all right. It was as I said. It it was a real long shot, so I wasn't um, I wasn't expecting to, um, okay, Wickham's Power Globe, um, that I found in the, um, Monk Harama dungeon with the, um, with, uh, with the, with the, uh, where I had to fight, like, five groups of skeleton lords. Okay. Petrified hom hom homo hom homunculus. I think that's how you say it. A large crystal dome sits upon a tarnished metal stand, attached and sealed quite hermetically. Now, this is just a little fun thing. I've actually, I actually f heard the word hermetically. For the first time, believe it or not, on the Johnny Carson show, where he, he would do like a stunt, and they said, "This is the, these these clues have been hermetically sealed," and blah blah blah, you know. And then like on Funk and Wagnalis, they, they used they used to be an encyclopedia, you know. Okay. I've already done the wand magetic. I've got that. Twisted heads. Okay. Okay, I'm trying to remember how this goes. I think the first two are happy and laughing. Nope. Now, by the way, one thing I did not... Oh, crap.
Okay. Y'all, I'll admit I did, I did, uh, I did look it up because I didn't want to waste your time. Like you know, a float within the shallows of the water is a peculiar-looking vessel, a boat, but unlike any other that you have ever seen. Stepping aboard the strange craft, you see while it appears to be made of wood and steel, further investigation reveals it's actually built of an unknown hard, glossy material. Tough, resilient, and obviously waterproof. It makes wonder how the orig origin of the boat and how long it's been harbored here. The most interesting feature of the craft, however, is that the tall oven-like barrel which sits at the rear of the ship, the purpose of which is not clear. It then strikes you that there is no visible means for propelling the small skiff. Only the rudder pole, a banking oar, and a strange handle attached to the side of the barrel. Okay, so this is a... So we can't go anywhere. This is a Wickham boat. So maybe we should use a Wickham power globe. How about... How does that sound? Placing the black glow upon the tripod in the center of the odd canister bower, you gasp as it starts to glow. After a few moments, you can hear water rushing up through the tubes inside the barrel, and soon you see a rush of water emerging out the rear of the craft. Grabbing the rudder and pulling the handle on the side of the large can, you are ready to head out upon the open sea. Okay. And you see there's a dot there? You know what that means. That's a secret door you can open or a button you can press. Okay, now first, the thing is, we, we probably have the necessary materials to get to the, um, uh, to get to the, um, you know what. Um, but first, we, there's a certain, if we want to get to the gorers, there's a certain thing that we need in the dragon caves. I'm not sure how long it's going to take. Okay. Eight floaters. Again, I've got my, um, I've got my, uh, whatchamacallit, wait, well, let me, do, let me just check one thing. I'm gonna kill the. I'm gonna kill these floaters. Then I better check to make sure, because there is one thing I definitely need. Um, but to for the witch for the uh, dragon cave, I want to make sure I have it. Cause knowing me, I'll probably forget it. Actually, happened today. I actually went to a supermarket, specifically Kroger, and I got there. And I realized. Wait a minute. I had gift two gift cards that I forgot. And that was my plan to use the gift card. So guess what? I kind of walked around for 30 minutes. You know, and then I'm like, "Eh, leave." So I'll be going back tomorrow. Oh, we finally get a level. Again, we can't get much training. So no, we didn't get what we needed. These are the keys, okay. So that's the one magetic. We don't need that yet. This is what we need right here. Coil of the serpent. Okay, 
So we, we actually have a decent amount of room here, so good. Okay, I think this is where, if we turn south, I think this is where we, um, I, Okay, bunch of night rooks, NBD, no big deal. Um, just as an FYI, we're not, we're not, no need to grind anymore, we're just, I mean, what I'm doing is, I'm doing a, um, you know, I'm, what, what I, things I'm doing are helping to advance the storyline. Now, I'm kind of doing it a bit out of order because... I want to I want to battle the gores because you know what I'm wanting I really could use a nice I really could use a nice um a rod of sprites you know and maybe one of the gores has it really game oh yay red piranhas You know what? These piranhas really bite. Okay, so we're down to one piranha, so we're just going to, uh, just gonna bet, you know, not even hide. Yay, nice, nicely done, Moody. I, I like this wizardry seven, but I also don't want to like overwhelm you. So I'm just wondering if um, if I should maybe scale it back to like once a week, you know, and instead, like maybe maybe like you know like mo let's say Mondays for example do the, do wizardry seven. Uh, maybe Wednesdays do Ultima 7, then Fridays maybe do something else. I don't know. What do y'all think? See, I like variety, though. That's the thing, you know. I like, you know, and I also want to. I also want to bring back some of my other, 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 other people, you know, that, you know, some of some of the people that like follow, you know. Got excited when I uh, when I played Ultima. Okay, the watch it. These piranhas really bite. that we kind of see a fog bank ahead. So 
That's going to be fun to get through. It's going to be fun to get through. Hope every, you know... Okay, we're killing these piranha sharks. Shark. Piranhas. Nice chunk of XP. I like XP. Do you like XP? Yes. Okay. Ahead lies a dense white fog, and through it can be heard the sounds of the sea crashing against the shore. Or possibly just a rocky reef. Or maybe it's a rocky road! Yeah, Rocky Road. I don't, I don't, I haven't seen that ice cream around in a while, but um, I know today I went to the store looking for um, uh, looking for I think certain ice cream. It was like birthday ice cream, and they didn't have it. Just like Walmart didn't have like the the unicorn ice cream with like the cool swirls, you know, so. Either there's some supply chain issues out there or uh, maybe, you know, maybe the company, you know, companies are like, you know, we're not just, we're just gonna, you know, carry like the popular flavors. And from what, as I said before, I think sometimes my taste and most people's tastes tend not to line up, so. Okay, so let's go in. Okay, the sea butts up against the barren cliffs of the Dragon Mountains, a treacherous cove with no safe harbor. Okay, we probably got more piranhas. Ooh, redfishes, okay. Let's not use, um, let's use instead, we're gonna use earthquake on them. We're gonna, we're gonna do a level five earthquake, see if that... Earthquake's working quite well, I must say. Nicely done. Nice chunk of XP. Good, I like it. Okay, good. I wanted to make sure I had Remove Curse. Because, see, I now need what I need to do. I actually need the coil to, to, to equip the coil of the serpent. And if we actually um, identify the coil of the serpent, you see that it's not, it's, it's got a regen of negative one. It's got decent damage and it's cursed. And it, it does have an, a special attack poison. 
So if you had it, like you had, um, now the way D Forte's mod works is in the regular Wizardry Seven. If let's say you had a, a plus um, two plus one items and a minus one item, it would it would take the higher of the pluses and the higher of the minuses, so zero. But in the mod. Like if you have two, a plus one, a plus one, and a one minus, it actually counts all of them. So you actually do have a plus one regen. That that's what I that's what I got from the, the README file. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. Again, so let's remove let's remove curse. Okay, it, uh, so it did not remove the Necromatic Helm, but it did remove the Cane of Corpus, so that's good. We can now equip the Coil of the Serpent. Okay, and I'm going to actually save it as 34. I want to uh, want to advance the numbers. Okay. Here we go. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wait a little bit. Okay, so let's. In the darkness, you can see the light of a distant lantern, but whether to warn sailors of deadly reefs or lure them. Upon them, you cannot tell. In the darkness, you can see the light, of, but whether to, yeah. Near the shining light, you see that it isn't a lantern of all, at all, but a hunk of glowing phosphor embedded into the face of the cliff. Invisible by day, the phosphor radiates brightly in the dark of the midnight sky. Okay, so this is where I think we use the coil of the serpent. Taking the serpent's thin hat staff and holding it high in front of the glowing rock, you discover that the phosphor chunk is not here by act of nature, but by design. The side of the cliff reacts, retracts, and opens the pass to an underground cove. Okay, so now what we're going to do is now we're going to um, now we're going to cast remove curse again. We're going to cast we're going to cast remove curse again. Yep, and that took care of the coil, coil of the serpent. Let's put the cane of corpus back on. No, we're not going to invoke its special power. Necromatic helm is all right, okay? So now we're going to save it again. Okay, so here we go. Sorry, sorry for yawning. Excuse me, sorry. I had, I had I had chicken with Alfredo sauce tonight, and then of course some some potato chips just to get some calories. Um, cause I'm I cause the thing is I'm trying to get, you know my my liver's still a little bit. Um, swollen and I can't my stomach can't fill up completely so I have to kind of eat some calorie dense foods but hopefully maybe in about a month that'll take care of itself so in 
the murky waters ahead, you hear a faint, eerie cry. Okay, what I'm going to do, I'm going to save it here. Because I hear a faint, eerie cry, so... I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Okay. Let's see, am I? Yep, my hell, ooh. 616 hit point max, nice. 40 million XP. That's one of the nice things about solo adventuring is that you don't have to share the XP with six other party members. Okay, so... Drawing near, you discern the figure of a woman bathing in the cove. Softly, she sings her haunting chant against the sound of the rushing waves. Enticing and beautiful, no one notice you drifting in until... Uh-oh. Bro Brombadeg! has risen! Brombadeg attacks. Oh, great! We've got two Brombadegs. Nice. This is gonna be fun! <laughs> um, there is an ad break coming soon. I'm not sure when, so keep keep an eye out for it. Uh, I did. I was hoping to at least get to the dragon caves. So, but as I said, there's one item in particular I'm looking for. Hopefully, I'll find it relatively quickly. Okay. Okay, so I'm gonna. Uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna wail away with the cane of corpus. like about a million XP. Oh yeah, Ooh, we're up to level 80. In the blood-filled waters, the Leviathan carcass slips back to the depths, a gruesome end to the monstrous legend. There'll be no trophy to adorn any mariner, mari marina's walls, and perhaps this, is, this too is how it should be. After all, real myths are hard to come by. Yeah, oh, hey! Oh, uh, you know, I caught a fish. It was this big!
Okay, so... Okay, so let's see what they are. Eh, nice, but I'm not gonna... Prometheus. I think I'm going to keep that. Okay, there is an ad break in progress, so I'm going to be right back. Usually ad breaks take about two and a half minutes. Okay, the ad break is over. Welcome back. Um, right now... class isn't any better than the amulet of healing and the amulet of healing does give us one regen gives gives us plus one regen so let's see what the cloak of many colors does interesting it does have a special power
Okay. It seems it's nice. It's got some really good resistances, but let's see what it's... Let's see what it's... Invoke its special power, yes. Oh, cool, we got a piety increase. Nice. Nice, I like that. Okay, so now we have 20 piety. Let's put her in. Oh, wait, okay, wait, still. Okay, so what we're going to do is let's see where we are and let's see which direction I want to go in. Okay. this way. Okay, so here we go. We'll see what happens. Okay, so now we are in the dragon cave. Komodo dragons, yes, nice, how appropriate. Okay, let's turn this around, Moody. You're you're probably mumbling. I'll tell you what, I'm so we, we still we go I go usually for about two hours and thirty minutes. What I usually do when it gets close, I'll I'll tell you like this is the let this is it this is the last battle. because you never know when you're going to have a cave-in. And the thing is, cave-ins usually block your way back. So... Oh, we got some giant insects. How quaint. Hello, giant insects. How y'all doing? How's everyone doing tonight? I hope you're doing well. I know I'm doing well. Good. Love, love. Okay, so here we go. We're going to bash because that does maximum damage. Because we have some pretty good strength. Ah, cave thraxes. How nice. Okay, I always like to hide, you know, that way I get... There's probably some two-hit bonus from hiding. Nah, I'm just going to finish this one straight up. No need to hide. He's paralyzed. Don't worry, I have to worry about a little. Don't have to worry. 
Okay, let's see how close we are. We're uh, not too bad. It's like 236,000 XP seems like a lot, but when you get towards the end of the game, you know, when you get like into the, some of these dragon cave areas, it's like... It's like, you know, there... Oh, whoa! Okay. One thing I remember it wait a minute. Let me try something. <coughs> Falling stars did not work on them. Let's try an earthquake. I haven't tried an earthquake on these monsters. So let's see how let's see how an earthquake works. Let's see how it, let's see if an earthquake is going to uh, have the same effect. And let's make it level five. Don't no no, don't clap, Moody, don't clap, don't 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 clap yet. Just let let the let the thing go through. Let it go. Just now, just by the sheer numbers, um, we should have. I'm actually watching uh, college football. It's SMU and Temple, and it's like it's forty-one to zero. I mean, it's like you know, SM, SMU's leading. They probably have their second string in already. Hopefully. See, that's a lot of XP because it's just a lot of monsters. It's like, it's like you have a bunch of dimes, you know, but let's say, let's say you have 20,000 dimes. It's like each dime isn't that much, but 20,000 of them, that's like $2,000. Same thing, if you fight enough monsters, you're going to like, you know, get a lot of XP. And a lot of XP is a good thing. Okay, don't know which direction to go here. Again, I'm going to save often because... Okay. Actually, great. We just we just back, came back back where we started. Okay. So let's look at some of the unexplored areas. Okay. So. Okay, so there's a cave-in in that direction. Looks like the Forte took a little bit of damage. Okay, is, I, think, I think there's one over here that, that has not been explored yet. Yep, let's go over this way. Seems like pretty nice open floor plan. Like it. Okay, yep, these are probably uh, vampire vultures. Yep. 
Uh, vampire vultures there. They can make a lot of hits, you know. So go up. Okay, so let's see what that did, what that cave in did. Well, we're still. Hmm. Well, at least we still have a way out. Okay, so let's let's check let's check our way out here. Oh great, another let's see. Ah, oh, bugs this time, giant insects. And, and, and y'all, one of the reasons I'm going after the gores is because I want to challenge. Because a lot of these, honestly, a lot of these fights are starting to, and I'm not complaining, but starting to become jokes. You know, it's like, okay, you know, we're... So we, we essentially have a super character. So I think what's happening is I think the challenge is starting to wear off. Let's check the map, see where we are. Okay. Hmm. So the only place I see is this area right here. And let me see, is it okay? Okay, so we're gonna have to go down. Well, we were going to go down, but it's like, eh, let's throw another encounter at them. Three dragon lizards. So we're going to go down this way.
Okay. Is, is that the way up? Because if that's the way up, that's only like one. Okay, still. Still, just because it's only one, don't poo-poo it. Don't be like, aha, you know. And sorry if I've been like uh, breaking wind a lot, but... You know, right, my digestive system is still trying to get back to normal. Okay, another encounter. Okay, ah, uh, we'll just, may we can, um, we can, uh, spell these, but let's just melee them, you know. Just good old melee. Ah. Uh. Poisoned. Uh, by the way, Jim, going to the gym tomorrow. Tomorrow's leg day, so I don't know if I'm looking forward to it, but the good news is leg days always fall on a Saturday, so. It's kind of like you have to have a day off, you know. You know, it's like it's the weekend, you do leg day. Looking ahead, just seeing, you know, so we are poisoned. Fortunately, when they breathe poison, it doesn't stick around, okay? So it's not like, oh yeah, it's going to stick around. It's just, you know, it's not like a poison gas where it's, you know, t you have to dispel the cloud or j else it just keeps going. Okay, so we got rid of one group, so now we're going to work on this next group. Ugh! I should set up a little bit straighter. Okay. Okay, so we're not... Oh, okay, so we're still poisoned, but... should also check my Kroger the card balances. It's Kroger, I'll just say that on. I mean, because um, we do have some smaller grocery stores, but if you really want the variety, as far as supermarkets, we in our in my town we only have two choices: Walmart, Walmart Supercenter, and Kroger. Those are those are the those are the two big ones. I'm trying to think if there's any others. I mean, there's your smaller stores. I think there's there's like a save a lot. Interesting thing, interesting thing is we actually have three Kroger's and uh, two Walmarts, two Walmart super centers. Okay, so that we defeated those. Now well, let's just let's just sleep off the poison. I'm not worried. Really, game? Really? WTH? WTH, y'all?
this I think this I think this encounter is a planned one, so I'm not gonna be upset. Rock lizards. They do have a chance of turning to petrifying you, so be careful. Okay, so let's see what we've got so far. Okay, so it looks like there's only one place we haven't really looked at yet, and that's that one. I'm going to wait a while just to get... Okay, I think we're good. We're not quite where we want to be health-wise, but that's all right. Let's see, do, do we have a path going east? Ooh, this is interesting. Okay, did I back up where I didn't want to back up? Okay, let's see. Okay, so let's check the journey map kit. Okay. Hey, Mr. Spock, how you doing? Uh, Mr. Spock. Let me show you something. If I just want to, if you look underneath, look at the number of deaths. I, I I I actually I actually hit 50 deaths. I think that was about a couple streams ago. Yeah, that's why I said watch the vod because it was 50. Um, um, it, I didn't technically die, but. Uh, being petrified and being by yourself, I think that really puts a damper on things. The run's going well. I'm actually in the dragon caves. Um, I'm trying to ultimately get to the gores, but let's see. Should I go north or south? Let's see. Which way is this? Is this north or south? Okay, this is kind of northish. Okay, it looks like there's nothing here. Uh, blackbirds and hog beetles, oh yay. Okay, these, these must be dragon rooks because they breathe acid. They call them blackbirds, but they breathe at, they're breathing acid, so I'm going to be like... Hope you're doing well, Mr. Spock. I'm actually doing, I'm seven, still seven out of ten. You know, th things, are, things are going smoothly. Yeah. Gl glad you're doing well, too. I'm Okay, we've passed the two-hour mark, so that means about 30 more minutes, unless we get a raid. I mean, there's always that possibility that we get raided, and if we get raided, I usually go about half hour after the raid. But I've been, I've been, I've been known to go longer. I can. Okay, nothing up here, so I'm gonna go back. I have a feeling there's there is something up there, but I think we need to. This is a thing. I think we need to unlock something in order to get back up there. Okay. Okay. This is oh, I like I like the open floor plan. Nice open floor plan, you know. I'm sure. I'm sure. I'm wondering where you picked that up. Did you pick that up under like, you know, 
Dragon Cave Quarterly or something. And Mr. Spock, if you want to put puns in chat, you're more than welcome to, so. Pun away, but, I, you know, I always like to have the last word. Okay, let's, let's shake things up a little bit. Ha ha ha, earthquake. Um, if you're into professional wrestling, Earthquake used, used to be, it used to be a professional wrestler, I think, back in the 90s. Uh, I think late 80s, early 90s. Ha uh -huh. Martha Stewart living, more like Monster Booit living. I have yet to see any articles how you would decorate a jail cell. And oh, this, these, these streamers go lovely with these bars, you know. You know, here, here, we're going to make, we're going to make a nice, um, you know, a, a nice, um, you know, casserole. Here, we're going to start with um, prison slop. Level 82, baby. Okay, this is a nice open. Yes, everything does max at a hundred, so that's one of the drawbacks with getting so. Um, I, I also did class change a good bit, so. Okay, so nothing down there. Okay, so. Okay, so we're gonna go this way. This looks like to be the looks like this is the only way that we can go. Yep. As far as skills, uh, ability scores max out at twenty. Okay, another encounter. Yippee ti yay yay. Oh, three Komodo dragons. Of course, this is a dragon cave, but I've yet to I've yet to see an authentic dragon. Okay, another nice open floor plan. Okay, and another encounter. Vampire vultures, how quaint. You have to be careful with these. These can drain hit points permanently. Okay, but fortunately we've got our cane of corpus. Probably why no one's like watching anymore. It's like this game's kind of become a bore, you know. It's like watch watching people watching people make holes with drills. I mean that's boring. Moody, you can do better. Okay, so let's see where we are again. Let's see. Let's look at our trusty map. Okay, so we're going to go straight down. Okay, so let's see, did we get, okay, we, we stepped on all of the spaces. Okay, 
I'm going to I'm going to save it here just because we've been getting a lot of Um I have a feeling there is an ad break coming soon. I'm not sure how soon. Uh but when there is an ad break, I'm going to take take a break. Um so I'll step away. Boy, this is this is getting a lot lot longer than I thought. It's like, wow, we're like going, ooh, now we're going west. It takes a whole lot of work to come up with a boring pun. I like it, whole H-O-L-E. Finally, some authentic dragons. Not like dragon lizards, okay? And how long have we been in the cave? Like 40 minutes? And finally we get some dragons? <sighs> I don't know. <sighs> Sheesh. They call these Dragoras, so they're probably, you know, well, they're, 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 they at least use a dragon, you know, icon, and they at least breathe fire, so. Oh, crap, I was like, I mean, they're getting through my uh, hiding, and I'm like, wait a minute, I'm no longer hidden. Whoa, they're, they're, they're doing some pretty tough damage. I'll tell you what, I better be careful. Non-union dragons. This this is pro this is going to be the last ad break, so it's about two hours and thirty minutes. So stick around. Um, no, actually take a break if you want. I'm going to get me something to drink. Okay, ad break should be over.
Okay. I'm um, just letting you know. I I usually I usually like to have um I'm, uh, stream's gonna end probably in about 20 minutes. Um. So. No. I used to be like more flexible, but I've kind of decided. You know. I'd rather I'd rather have a definite start time and end time that way. You know. Oh, good. We paralyzed one of them. That's good. The cane of Corpus is wonderful. Ooh, we critted him. say just more organized but it's like like let's say like let's say you're you know let's let's say someone's wanting to, to watch the stream you know and and it's like 10 15 and they they see that it's like you know it's like wait a minute it's only gonna go another half hour anyway oh wow we got lots of cool stuff Stuff that we don't have room to carry. Sheesh, game. Uh, let's see. I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna go with the dagger. Uh, flail. I'm just gonna see what they are. Poleaxe. Uh, these I don't want because I don't. Uh, potion we're not worried about. That's probably weak anyway. Dagger. Okay. We're in Dragon Caves, and this is very advanced, okay? And you, the treasure, is just a freaking ordinary dagger? Really, game? WTF? I've already used WTH, so I'm I'm upping I'm upping I'm upping the ante. Anointed flail, that's at least a little bit better, but oh look, a fairy can't use it. That's all right. I've got the cane of freaking corpus anyway. Again, lucerne hammer. Uh, I'm keeping the horn of Prometheus. Okay, and oh, another du another dungeon, um, another open uh, open air dungeon. Deep in the dragon's lair, you discover the bones of an ill-fated venture, a grisly skeleton crew. Spying the great ch chest at the rear of the cavern, you wonder if this co could have been a band of pirates bearing their treasure, little suspecting that their secret hideaway was already occupied by a fire-breathing tenant. Roar! 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 You consider momentarily the tales of dying pirates who curse their booty with a last gasping breath. But they think better. Such stories are usually the kinds of tales meant for children at midnight campfires. These bones look harmless enough. Just to be sure, you take a casual stroll around the cavern, stepping on any pirate skulls that happen to be lying up about, crushing them beneath the grating heel of your boot. There, that should take care of any old pirate's curse. Curse schmerce. <laughs> Okay, so let's grab this chest and see see what's in it. Let's see, I've got one, 
two, three, four, five, six. I've got seven slots. So I, if I, in case I'm interested in something, I at least can probably can can carry it out. I'll tell you what we've got. Uh, we've got a lot of. Um, and usually, keep in mind when I'm done, I like I like to raid. I like to raid out. And there's a lot of a lot of cool people out there. Um, also on Tuesday, I'm going to be giving you an update. Uh, I'm also going to be giving you an update on. Ooh, I like this armor. Woo <laughs> woo. I'm going to take the pipes, and I am going to take the onk. Uh, let's, let's at least look at the shield. I don't know. I probably can't use it anyway, being that I may. And let's look at the amulet. Who knows? Fancy. Pan flute. What does it do? Hypnotic lore. Mm, nice. Ah. Uh, ah, uh, nah. I'm not, I'm not, I mean, it's nice, but not. Heater shield, but fairies can't use, and ninjas can't use it. Drop. Amulet. Gem of power. Hmm. Let's see what the onk is. Onk of healing. Let's uh, let's cast identify on the onk of healing. Let's see what that is. No, the well the car carrying capacities of fairies. Is I would say it's about two thirds of regular carrying capacity. Now that being said, uh, Spock, the problem isn't the weight usually; it's the number of slots you have. See, my carrying capacity is only 48 out of 201, and the reason it's that at 201, which is high, is because I've got a vitality of 19 and a strength of 18. Okay, the Ankh of Healing does give us heal. Eh. I'm gonna drop it. Now, what I'm curious, I'm gonna let me let me rest. Let me rest. No, no, let's not rest yet. Let's let's check out the Gem of Power. Oh, let's check that out. Okay, so let's let's cast identify on the gem of power. Let's let's do full blast. Purify air, special resistances, hypnosis and magic. Nice, but you know, I mean, I mean the thing is we've got we've got more. We, the thing is our spells are more powerful than that. See, that's the problem. We get to the point where. Uh, where it's like where our where the items uh, the items are actually less powerful than we are. I mean, that like or the items when compared to us, their power is like nothing. Ooh. Nothing there. Okay, something happened. 
something happened. Okay, so it looks like, ooh, they're like up there. There's a, looks like a, an escape. Wondering where this goes. Okay, another another encounter. Ah, some bugs. Mr. Spock, I am gonna have some fun tomorrow working out. It's leg day, so ugh. But at least it's on a Saturday. Well, Mr. Spock, right now I'm kind of in like the second week, the first week, full work week, week of workouts. And so I think the motivation is high right now. Especially considering that the changes that are, you know, that, that are, that I'm seeing. Okay, so we keep on going up. Okay, another, ooh, green dragons, woohoo, finally we get some authentic dragons, now, I'm trying to remember, I, if, uh, I don't know what green dragons breathed in like the original first edition d and I'm trying to remember it was either acid or chlorine gas, it was one of those two. Because I know white breathes cold, red fire, blue lightning, um, green and black, they are like acid. And th those, I think, were the five um, evil dragons. And um, um, you know, of course, Tiamat is like a, a five-headed dragon. It's like, I, I, someone did a cool meme on Facebook. It's like, you know how Skittles says, taste the rainbow? Well, they had Tia Matt and they said, sometimes the rainbow tastes you. Ah. Trying to see if this is time for, um, I'm going to do Earthquake. I'm going to do Earthquake, let's see. Fizzle. Really? Fortunately, this is only your second Fizzle and you've cast lots of spells, but if this keeps up, you're being renamed. And no, I'm not, not renaming you Failure. I'm, I've, I'll have to think of something else to rename you. You know, I, w I want to think of another another unique name. Bye bye, green dragons. Hmm. F forte. I'm tr What does the first F stand for? I think I know, but well. I'm hoping the first F stands for failure. I thought it stood for something else. I was like, no, 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 I don't think so, because it's his great F for failure. 
Okay, so we're starting to get to the point where we can't really get any more training. Okay. Though the stories of a dragon's fancy for treasure are legend, you discover there is apparent truth in the table. Ah ha ha! Okay. Weighty chests appear to litter the cavern, all hoarded together for you by some tight wadded hot breath lizard. Okay, there's one specific item that we're looking for, and once we find it, we're going to get out of dodge. Thank you, Green Dragons. Plur okay. I'm going to check out this dagger to see, uh, to see what it is. I'm going to check out the lance, too. Um, then we're probably gonna we're probably gonna loot all the chests, leave, and then we'll see what happens. Oxygen cloak. Hmm. I I can't use it, but I am really curious as to what it does. Oh yeah, just air resistance. Acidic dagger. That's a little better. Titanium lance. Well, I wish we could use. Well, fairies, ninjas, and fairies can't use it. So that's one down. Here's another chest. Ooh, basilisk eye. Bow. I'm going to check the sling, and I'm going to check these two wands. Uh, jewelry, yes, I'm going to check that, yeah. See, it was, um, thank you, thank you, Spock. It's tough with green because you usually associate green with acid. But chlorine gas also has a greenish color to it. Elven bow. Well, well, guess what? We're not an elf. Sling. Lion sling. Huh? Let's see. What does it do? Again, we're, we're probably going to go over a few minutes, but I'm not too worried. to be a rod of Sprite. Yes, unless it was an elven bow made of elves. Wand of Ghosts. Uh, nice, but I can't use it. I could probably invoke it. Wand of Raising, nope. Okay, so there's... I see one more treasure chest. This better have what I'm looking for. Ah, daggers. Yep, definitely daggers. Ah, good. Ooh! I'm gonna take the sword. I'm going to take the book. I'm going to take this sword. 
I'm definitely going to take the key. That's what we came here for. It's too bad we're not a Valkyrie because we could really use those. Okay, so let's see what this sword is. Ooh, it's a Blade Cuisinart. Now, I'm, I'm just going to look up what, what, um, what, what we have to say about the Blade Cuisinart. Blade Cuisinart, it's not, um, no, it's not quite the powerful weapon that it is in, in, uh, Wizardry 1, and maybe Wizardry 5, Light Curing, nope, can't use it, this is probably a Vorpal Blade, ooh, Vorpal Blade plus 1, too bad I can't use it. Let's see what it does. Let's see. Let's just see what it does. Identify. I'm just going to do max. Okay. Nothing exciting. Key of the dragon. That's what we came here for. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna look at that chest and then I'm gonna I'm gonna start to leave. Boy, these dragons are really kicking my butt. Five powders. Eh, I'm not worried about this. I'm just, we've got a cane of corpus. Um, and I, what I'm wanting is, I'm wanting a, um, okay. Daggers. Uh, this, we got a, another wand. Uh, we got a horn. Uh, I'm going to check out the hood. <laughs> the dragon hates when it loses its key. <laughs> it's a heck of a time starting up the minivan to drink the dragon puffs to soccer practice. Well, um, actually, Spock, that didn't last long because eventually the dragon learned how to hotwire hot wire minivans. Liar of Voids, what is this? Anti-magic. I think I'm gonna keep everything. I'm gonna hold on to that. I think I think I may. I mean, you know, I it's not. Let's see what this wand is. Darn wizard's wand. So far, we found so many wands, and yet not a single one. Okay, so I'm going to rest, and, um, um, Spock, I don't know if there's anyone in, in, in mind that you want me to, to raid that I know. I see there's someone that's doing pinball and Pokemon trading. 
Um, let's see, Stone Keep. Uh, there's someone that. Oh, uh, I'm not sure if I'd want to do that. Uh, it's a good streamer, but the problem is they're, you know, they're feeling sick, and so they're like kind of streaming anyway, but. But they're like that kind of, you know. I'm not, uh, not sure if that's the best. You know, I'm not sure if that's the best poly. You know, if you if you're sick, I, you know, either just cancel the stream or you know. Okay. So let's see. So we're we're on. We're heading out. Uh-oh, looks like the tight wad has come home. Okay, this is the last battle of the stream, and I kind of knew this was going to happen. Now I want I am I am playing on expert mode. So in other words, I get an extra there's an extra monster. Tough one. Emerald dragons I think are top of the line. That being said, I've probably got about 400 hit points and I've got a cane of corpus. So I don't think I'm too worried. But see, they can even hit me when I'm hidden. That's the problem. Ah, uh, tough one, Mr. Spot. Uh-uh, I don't think so. Ooh, that's probably a sort of fire. I'm gonna take this just because it could be it could be something I, I don't I can't use, but still I'm just curious. Look at look at my hit point maximum. Look at my hit point maximum, six hundred and sixty-six. Okay, so let's check out the sword. Again, game? Okay, we are in it the probably the, the second this uh, probably the second dungeon from the end, which is supposed to be difficult. And you give us A low ordinary long sword. Really? Well, let's see. Final boss will give you a kitchen knife. Okay, um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to raid. Um, if you want, you can stick around for the raid, but um, that's the streamer I was talking about. I'm actually going to raid them just because they're still they're, they're sick. Um, they're just playing a few public access horror movies, and so... Um, it's up to you if you want to stick around, but I'm just, you know, it's it's kind of more like, you know, I'm trying to trying to brighten his day up a little bit, and, and that's fine, get you know. But um, let me, I better save it first. I better save it just to make sure. And so we're gonna we're gonna raid this person. 
um, they do a lot of interesting streams. So you may want to check them out when they're feeling better. They play some retro games. They play uh, Wizardry 5. I, I think all especially on Mondays. On Saturdays, I don't know if they're going to still play Wizardry 5, but if you're into professional wrestling, he plays lots of, does a lot of professional wrestling. So thank you, and I'll see you on Monday. We're going to be back for more Wizardry.